All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a publisher and subscriber package in C++. If you're new to my channel, I teach robotics, controls, machine learning, and computer vision. So subscribe to learn more. Check out my playlist on computer vision using AI, OpenCV in Python, ROS2, Git, Python, C++, SOLIDWORKS, mechanical design, and here's my GitHub that follows along with it. So in this ROS tutorial, we're going to make the package in C++, but first off, um, we're going to be using CMake in here. So if you're using VS Code, you want to install this CMake extension. And first off, if we want to create the package, we want to run the command to create the package. So you want to go to your source folder in your workspace and then run this command here, ROS2 package create build type amend cmake cpp pubsub. That's going to be the name of my package. So I hit enter, that will create my package. And then you can see here, it creates a folder. And this is a folder that's my package, which has to include the source, the cmake, and the package uh, .xml file. Okay, so we're going to take a look at the source code that we'll be using for this tutorial today. So um, there's going to be two main functions that we're playing with. So the first one is this right here. This is the uh, publisher function. It's going to be the publisher member function .cpp, so you could get it in my repo. But these here are the includes that you need to include. So this is for the timing and the memory stuff, uh, strings. This is the ROS related things. So this is the basic includes that you need for a typical publisher uh, function. And here we have some resources on C++ classes and inheritance if you need some uh, refresher. But here what we're doing is we're inheriting uh, the node class to make our minimal publisher class. And then inside of here of our constructor, we're um, initializing these values here. And we're going to be creating a publisher here. And this publisher is actually a shared pointer. So I have some videos on shared pointers as well. You could go check that out. It's going to be under the smart pointers. But you can see here in the private, we have defined these um, smart pointers here, a shared pointer specifically for the timer and publisher. So when we uh, create this publisher, we're saving it to this publisher shared pointer. And similarly here, we create a wall timer and we're storing it in the timer shared pointer. So this right here is going to be um, this going to be doing a callback. You pass in the callback function. So our callback function here is the timer callback, and what this will do is it's going to spit out the message "Hello World," and then publishing uh, the message here that it's going to be updating. And you see it's based on this data dot c string, but here the "Hello World" here it has a count count plus plus. So we have a variable here that we have, and we're just incrementing at every iteration. Okay, so that's what this does. And then here is the main loop. A lot of these functions will follow a similar structure. So here we'll do some initialization and then the spin. So this will create an instance of the minimal publisher and enter a loop, and it keeps a node alive with the callbacks up and running. And then after you're done, we do a shutdown, and that's the gist of it. Here is a subscriber member function .cpp. So this one, once you publish, someone has to subscribe to it. So here again, we do inheritance, and then we have our constructor to create our minimal subscriber. And inside the subscriber, we create a subscription. This right here is a shared pointer, as you can see. And this will do a topic. And then this will have our callback. So in our callback, all it does is respond to what it's getting back. So it'll say, I heard message.data, and whatever the message is, you will get that response back. And in the main function, we have a init spin and shutdown, which is similar to our publisher structure that we just talked about. Okay, so what we want to do is get those two functions. 
we want to extract those two functions and we want to put it in our source folder. So again, these are some resources you guys could check it out. But what I'm going to do is just copy those two files that we just went over and then go right into here to our source file in our CPP pub sub in our source. Uh, we're going to paste that in there. So those two functions are in there now. And then the next step is we want to update our package.xml and our cmakelist.txt files. So if we take a look at that, we see this is our cmake file here. So what we see is that the cmake file, the general structure is it's going to make, make the project have some cmake minimum requirement. And then the part that we're actually adding is this chunk of code right here. So when you create a CMake list by default, um, when it's created during the package generation, it's going to look something like this. And then the CMake list that we're going over is what we're adding onto it. So the things that we're adding onto it is we're going to add some lines to find our packages that we're using. And then for the publisher, what we want to do is add an executable. So it's going to be called the talker, and then it's going to tie it to our uh, publisher member function.cpp. And then this will do the dependency linking for the talker and the things that it'll use. Similarly, for the subscriber, we'll do the similar structure. And then the installs here will um, set up our targets for running. And then this right here is for some copyright and licensing that we won't really care about. And then this is the final step to make the package. And then for the package.xml, the part that we're adding to the uh, originally generated file is this part here that depend on the RCL CPP and the STD messages. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and copy those two files and I'm just going to delete these two and we're going to update with our new file here. So if I paste it, these are our updated files that we'll be using. So if we go back to our um, readme, what we're going to do now that we have updated our files, um, you could run this step here to check for missing dependencies. This one I would say is optional, um, but you want to first go back a folder and then run this. So this will do any dependency check. So the final step is you want to build it using Colkin. So we're going to run the Colkin build package select and then the name of the package is a CPP pub sub. So if I go ahead and run this, this will build my package. And it'll take a few seconds to build. But once it's done building, we could start using the package. Okay, so when we do, after some building, we would create another terminal and then we would cd to ROS uh, 2ws. The next, the more important step is to source it so that we could find the talker file and then we could run ROS to run cpp pub sub talker. So if I go ahead and run these commands, what this will do is start publishing. And then in my other terminal, I could use the listener. So here in my bottom terminal, I could CD source and then run the listener. And you can see that it's getting the feedback of what it's hearing. In my next video, I'm going to go over publisher and subscriber in Python. So go check that out. If you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.